Hello there, Cancer. Welcome. This is your love reading for the second half of October 2023. Let's see what's happening for you guys. Okay. Starting out with, ooh, the sun, happiness, Leo energy. So it feels like you're going to experience some kind of emotional happiness or there's something becoming clear to you, maybe. Let's see what else we have. What's crossing you? We have the Ace of Ashes. Ooh, passion, desire. Something new coming in. Inspiration. Okay, what's the general energy around you? We have the Seven of Stones. Hmm, considering, reevaluating. So maybe someone's coming in with an offer here with the Ace of Ashes. Could be a Leo. Um, and you're reconsidering or thinking about it. There's some kind of decision trying to decide if you want to put some effort or time into something maybe okay what about past energy what do we have that happened in the past we have the unnamed here so this is like scorpio energy this would be like an ending the death card the unnamed here endings new beginnings rebirth transformation okay just put this down a little bit more okay so something might have ended in the past here. So let's see what's coming. Oh, the very near future we have here. The Four of Ashes. It wanted to stay on my hand there. I feel like someone wants to stick around. Someone wants, you know, see how it didn't want to leave my hand? Something wants to hang in there. They, they're looking for a commitment with you. So I think this person is willing to hang in there and wait for you or something like that. The way that hand, the way that card stuck on my hand like that. Okay, now what else is coming in? We have here the six of, this is a six of win. So this is someone um, might be moving on or thinking about moving here. Maybe you're relocating or someone could be coming towards you. Someone could be leaving a rough time to come into something better here. Okay, now, what is the outside influences? Let's look at that. Oh, I'm getting a pinch in the back of my my neck here like my shoulder blade Ooh, Does someone have a pinched nerve or a all of a sudden i had a pinch okay we have here the queen of stones so he could be dealing with a um taurus virgo capricorn that could be outside influence it could be someone focusing on their money focusing on their home material wealth here okay let me get a charm on this one we have yeah someone might be hanging in there Hang it. I always feel like maybe this is that synergy of someone waiting for you. Being very patient. Okay. Let me do the word now. What's the word on this queen of stones? Let's see. We have here healing, single, expect. So someone might be wanting to come in to heal something with you. And maybe they're single or... But you could expect something. You could expect them to maybe want to come in here and heal. Okay, let's see. How do people see you? Ah, it seems like you are three a win. It looks like um, you might be looking at the back at the past here. I feel like this is weird. This is three of wind with three of swords. It almost looks like a three of wands, though. Someone looking back at the past, but there might be some kind of someone looking back at the pain that was caused, or someone, you know, this person might be wanting to come in and talk to you to heal something, but they probably figure you might be still hurting or still um, looking back at what happened in the past. Okay, so, because here we do have the seven of stones here, so that would make sense with that card there. What about your hopes or fears? We have here the Knight of Stones. Okay, here's the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I think someone's coming in slow and steady and sure here. We also have the key. So the key will be, this could open doors, close doors, you know, access, denial. It could be information, communication. Coming in here. I don't know why I put those back. I need them. I need them. Okay, let's see. We have here serious friend or friends, the ex. Okay, 
maybe something about someone's maybe the ex's friends or something are involved or something's being serious here someone might be serious with their friend or friends of the ex you if this is for you you definitely know how to you know rearrange these so it makes sense to you if not you know if it doesn't make sense then it's not for you so what is a possible outcome for you guys we have here oh we have the strength card leo energy we got Leo here with the Sun and the Strength card. Okay. And then we have the Nine of Rain. So Nine of Cups. Okay. Wishes fulfilled here. Okay. And we have here the Two of Stones. Okay. So that might be trying to make a decision maybe. You're trying to, you might have a choice of two people maybe. You're trying to make a decision who's going to make you happy. We do have the three of ashes. Now see, this is someone waiting for something to come in. Waiting for their ships to come in. This guy here is signaling the ships like, oh, over here, over here. So maybe you're waiting. You're just waiting and you're signaling someone. Okay. Let's start clarifying. Why is the sun here? Oops. Why is the sun here? Ooh, we have the death card. So something, whatever had to end here, there's some, this, whatever it is, is making you happy. It's an ending, a rebirth, a major transformation, Scorpio energy. So we have that here twice. So there's something that has to end, but whatever it is, it's making you happy because we have a sun. Or it's bringing light to a situation. Almost feels like some darkness is ending and light is coming in. What about the um, Ace of Ashes here? We have the Emperor. Ooh. Someone coming a lot of passion, desire. This could be your energy. It could be like you're coming into a leadership role or you're taking control. It could be dealing with Aries. It could be someone coming in, taking a control of the situation, offering you something here. What about the Seven of Stones? What's going on with the Seven of Stones? The Hangman. See, someone's waiting. Trying to gain a per different perspective on something here. Waiting. Trying to figure things out. That's your energy. Just waiting. Trying to figure out what you should do here. And okay. The unnamed here in the past. Let's see. We have the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups would be someone very loving, nurturing, caring. Of course, it could be your energy. It could be something that changed for you in the past. Something um, that you needed to change. Let me get a charm on this one. The Queen of Cups we have here. A mirror. So you might be reflecting something back to someone here. Or maybe you're receiving something. Or something happened in the past. There's some kind of mirror. I see that as mirroring someone. Maybe you're mirroring this person. Maybe you're both feeling the same. Okay. And this past energy. Unknown. Tower. Ooh. Married. Ooh. So maybe in the past you did not know that the person you were involved with was married and it came as a shock. Aries Scorpio energy. But there's something about mirroring here and something about endings. Um, it is weird. We got the unnamed and the unknown. So yeah, some kind of ending, new beginning, transformation. Take it if it resonates with you. Okay, now we have here the Four of Ashes. So this is commitment, right? That's Four of Ashes. We have oh Seven of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Pentacles here twice. Thinking about whether or not you maybe want the commitment. This is coming in. Someone's going to have to decide. We do have the Six of Wind though here. Someone might be moving on. What's this all about? The three of swords, someone's moving on from heartache, from pain, some hurt here. So it could be you or it could be your, your person, but say so yeah, someone's moving on from this. They're, they're going on to something better. There's a lot of thinking, a lot of contemplating here, deciding to move on. Now what about this queen of stones? We have here the four of cups. Someone is... Not seeing this other cup. They're focusing on the three cups that are in front of them. But they're not seeing this other offer. This could be someone trying to make an offer to you. And you're not seeing it. Because this is outside influences. 
Okay, so now what about the th we have the three of swords here twice. Three of swords, three of swords. So people see you as being in three of swords. Being some kind of hurt, some kind of pain. Let's see. Oh, but the wheel of fortune thing something's shifting, something's changing. I like that. Okay, then we have this is the Knight of Stones. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, slow and steady. What's going on with the hopes and fears with this Knight of Stones? We have here justice is going to be served. Okay. So someone's returning here to make things right. I don't know why we have the ex friend or and serious, but if it's for you again, I'll I'll say that then you you'll know what it means. Okay, now we have the strength card for the possible outcome. Why is the strength card here? We have here oh the seven of cups. Boy, you know, we have the hangman here. We have the seven of stones, seven of pentacles, which is the same. Then we have the seven of cups. Of course, seven is very spiritual. So and having the strength maybe to make a choice or options or or maybe you're walk or maybe you're also having the strength to walk past all these options. Because we do have the nine of cups coming in. So you're gonna make a happy decision, it looks like. Let's see. Nine of <gasps> Whoa! Let me get those. <laughs> those are flying out. I think it's more than one. Oh, it's only one. It felt like more. Let me just make sure. I guess that. Wow, this one came flying out. So, there's going to be a new beginning. Aries, Aquarius, energy. You're taking a leap of faith. It's going to make you very, very happy. Okay, now this card is what? I forgot what this was. Oh, this is the two of stones. Okay, let's see why we have the two of stones here. Why is the two of stones here? Ooh, we have the six of wands. Well, whatever you decide here, you're going to be victorious. And then at the bottom deck here, we have the nine of cups again. Wow, this is looking good. I don't know what's happening, guys, but whatever it is, it seems like you're going to make the right decision that makes you happy, and you're going to get recognition here. You might be, you might be um, balancing something or deciding on something here with the two of stones. But whatever you do, it's going to be victorious. And we have the nine of cups. And you've been waiting for this. So you are you have the nine of cups here twice. Okay, let's get some more cards on this for you guys. Let's see. What else do we have here for cancer? I'm so excited. <laughs> what else do we have? Let's see. We have the king of swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. And then we have... The King of Pentacles, uh-oh, maybe that's it. Maybe you're going to have a choice between a King of Swords and a King of Pentacles. Let's get another one here. And the Ace of Cups, oh yeah, look at this. I don't know, you you have this Queen of Pentacles interest in you. Then you have, so we have the King and Queen of Pentacles on the table. We have now the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Let me get the charms on these. First, let's just do the King of Swords. What is this? Oh, it's a oh, it's a four-leaf clover. This is a lucky time for you. Maybe this is your energy. You know, this could be speaking your truth, standing your power, cut out with this belong. But whatever it is, this is very lucky here. A lucky time. You have the wheel of fortune. You have the uh, four-leaf clover. It looks like you're coming to a lucky period. And now this knight of pentacles could be. Oh, we have scissors here. These are almost like. Should I say they're oh, well, they're kind of straight. I guess they could be like hair cutting scissors, but they also could be maybe some kind of metal scissors or something. Where's my little bag so I can show you? Let's see. I'll have to take off the bigger one. I don't know. Oh, here it is. Oh, I'll use my, my glove here. Okay, here. So, see how these scissors are? I mean, does someone work with scissors like that? It might be special for you or something like that. Well, anyway. This is cutting out something. So maybe the King of Pentacles is cutting out something. Could be you, could be someone else. But the King of Pentacles is the most prosperous of all the court cards. But there's also the Ace of Cups here. Let me get the words now. What's going on with the King of Swords? We have here family, 
sincere always okay so whoever this person is always very sincere with the family you know the king of swords is very intelligent but also a straight shooter okay now what about this king of pentacles we have finances well that makes sense feelings lover Ooh. okay let's get a clarifier on the finances we got for the finances let's see Ooh, money. So whoever this is, this is either your energy or someone that's coming in. Whoever it is, they have money. You have money. They have money. Or you're coming into money. And someone's have feelings that they want to be your lover. Okay, let's see. So I do think you have a choice between a couple people, maybe even more. Let's see what else we have for you. We have here Queen of Wands. Holy moly. Okay, Queen of Wands. The, key, the Knight of Cups. Wow. <laughs> okay. And we have the Hermit. Let me just put out the rest of the cards. We have here then the Six of Swords. Someone moving on, moving away. Could also be going on vacation or holiday with these Six of Swords. And we have the Eight of Wands. This happens fast. We have the Six of Swords here and Six of Swords here. So you definitely have some kind of movement. And we have the Knight of Swords. Look at all these people. At the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. Okay. So we have a couple people here. There's like a love connection. Then we have the Queen of Wands with the Knight of Cups. And we have the Hermit. Okay, the Hermit is going within finding answers. Looking over. I almost feel like, looks like he's looking at the Queen of Wands. Okay, I'm going to call you the Queen of Wands. You're getting a lot of attention. That's for sure. So I think you get a lot of Myers, a lot of attention here. And uh, let me get a charm on the Queen of Wands. We have a TV. You might be in the spotlight. Are you um, someone that is in the spotlight getting a lot of attention here? Could we have the old-fashioned TV? Get this. Gotta find my other thing to put this on. Okay, let me just put it on here. See, we have the old-fashioned TV, right? So, that could mean that you're in the public eye. Maybe you're on TV, maybe you're a star, you're, um, you'll be recognized, you're someone, a public figure of some sort. You may be on, have your own YouTube channel, but you're getting attention and there's, there's people that are interested in you. I think it's more than one person here. Now we have... This Knight of um, Cups. I'm going to get a charm on this and I'll put the words out. Okay, we have here a wrench. Okay, so this Knight of Cups might be um, a mechanic or a plumber or someone that uses a wrench. That one is interesting you. Let's see. Let's get the word on the Queen of Wands. Contact. Before important so maybe someone tried to contact you before about something important maybe they couldn't contact couldn't reach you okay what about this knight of cups we have honest pleasure is it okay so someone's coming towards you trying to be honest and it might please you, but is there might be a question of is something right? Is you someone might have a question of is it? I mean that might be for you, might not. But then you take this hermit. The hermit is soul searching. The hermit is looking for answers. The hermit could be like the detective, looking to take the lantern, looking for something. Or maybe, you know, we do have the seven of stones, we have the seven of pentacles, we have the hangman. We have all these cards that someone's really trying to figure out what they want to do here. Not sure. And of course, we did have the seven of cups for options. I think you have many options. And maybe this is your energy saying, okay, let me look into this a little deeper here. Now, let's see about this Knight of Swords. Let me get a charm on this. Ooh, we have Pegasus. Okay, so this Knight of Swords, whoever this is, is coming in with good news for you. Okay, we have the Six of Swords. This is moving on, moving on to something better. Eight of Wands. This is back and forth communication or something happening fast. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Let me get the words on this Knight of Swords. 
we have oop we have here player present later okay so night month this is good news whatever it is so maybe in the present someone might present you with something or it might be um someone bring you a present something about someone being a player or later or something maybe a player later is bringing you a present okay then we have the high priestess so this could be secret something hidden something you're not seeing this could also be your intuition being very strong so take it how it might resonate with you but there's something you're moving on from something that is not good for you to something better things are going to take off quickly and you have a few people interested in you cancer so be ready it seems like you, you know, your dance card is going to be full okay <laughs> all right so the high priest is that's cancer virgo energy so yeah something might be secret you might be keeping secrets someone might be keeping secrets or this might be just saying that you're very intuitive at this time all right i'm gonna leave it there just just say that you have many people admiring you and are interested in you so you're gonna have to choose it's up to you all right guys i love you so much and i want to thank you all for all your support all your likes all your comments it has really been helping my channel i really appreciate it it's been really tough lately and so i really appreciate it anything you do the thumbs up please or or leaving a little comment you know it all really helps and i really appreciate it i love you so much and um thank you all for your likes your shares subscribes your super thanks and i hope to see you all again real soon thank you